Welcome to Team 708's field tour. We wanted to take the time to show you our field and show you how we designed our field. The first thing we'll look at is the bridges in the center of the field. For a base, we use an aluminum structure to hold up the bridge and a divider piece that blocks the fruits and relics from going under the bridge. The bridges themselves are made of planks that are held together with a chain, meaning there is some give to the bridge. There is also a guard that prevents robots from escaping the field, thus protecting them from going off the side field border. The riverbank itself is a piece of plywood covered with carpet. We are looking at the driver station wall. The tree color represents which driver station wall it is, while the temple color represents where teams must score. This means that the red team's temple is on the blue alliance's driver station wall. Now we are looking at the tree itself, starting at the back. We have a safety rope and step ladder on the treehouse to maintain safety for the explorers. We used ideas from the first stronghold in our design of the tree. We have a heavy base to hold everything down, and the tree is held up in a way similar to the tower. For the robots hanging off the branch, there is a piece that attaches the branches to the tree so the upward force from lifting the robots in endgame does not cause the tree to tip. The vines are 12 inches from the bottom of the, the field, made of chain, and can hold up to two robots on each. The mechanism for the canopy is a manually operated design that a human player would use to let them out. The hollow is designed similar to the cargo ship in Deep Space, with the magnet releasing the fruit during Autonomous. For recycling of fruits, fruits get placed at the top of the tree and then go into the canopies with a capacity of about 50. If the canopies were to overflow, these balls would go back onto the field. The green netting is an aesthetic and not meant to shoot in, but if a team were to do that, the netting is designed in a way that would dump them into the canopies. Now we'll move on to the temple. As you can see, it sticks out from the driver's station wall. For scoring, there are three scoring ports known as temple cavities. The top cavity is here, the middle cavity is here, and the bottom here. Looking up, you can see the netting is above the temple. This is done for safety, but it continues the idea of the tree. In order to score the fruits, there is an automated system that is used to score balls in a serializer similar to the serializer used in first Steamworks. We hope you enjoyed this Rumble in the Jungle field tour.